WGN Studios, this is the WGN Morning News at 9. Good morning, Good morning, Julie. Mike. Good morning to you guys. Big day in baseball history on this day, 1951. I like to talk about this every year because it's the most talked about home run in baseball history. Giants announcer Russ Hodges on the call. Take a listen and a look. All right, that was Bobby Thompson's home run. It's known as the shot heard round the world. Great moment that was, and well, the Giants won the pennant on that very same play, but the Dodgers lost it on that one. Here's how it went in their booth. Here we go. Bronco with the wind up and the pitch. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> that much gonna go. Giants win the pennant. <laughs> We'll be back with a post game. <laughs> huh. Two sides to every coin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay yeah. Forget One it. man's glory. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Uh -huh. It's the time of the show when we do it. It's the time of the show when we do it. It's the time of the show when we do it. All right, number nine, turns out there's a trademark for putting goats on a building to attract customers. Oh. The idea dates back to L. Johnson's Swedish restaurant in Door County, Wisconsin. It started mm. off as a practical joke, but now the family lets goats graze on the sodded roof of their restaurant. Huh. They learned it was such a great business model for attracting customers that they trademarked the concept and promised Ooh. to sue any company that violated it. Oh. However. They have uh, licensed the concept to two other restaurants. One is in Tiger, Georgia, and the other is in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Oh. Look at that. Boy, no guardrails on that roof. Oh. Yeah. These mm -hmm. goats make one false yeah. step. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number eight, check out this amazing Greek villa. It was sculpted into the hillside of an island and has views of the Aegean Sea and surrounding mountains. The building was inspired by circular walls that are built around the lemon trees in the Mediterranean, which protect them from the elements. It has six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, an outdoor home theater, and a curved infinity pool. At the center, an open-air courtyard with a lemon tree. The bill is listed for $7.3 million. Mm -hmm. uh, number seven, nothing is more fun than pulling out a Ouija board at a slumber party. Or at least that's what Parker Brothers thought with their commercials back in the 90s. Take a look. You're moving it. No, I'm not. You're moving it. You're moving it. Would you just quiet? I'm trying to concentrate here. And I'm not moving it. You're moving it. Is Jake gonna ask me to the dance? How old will I be when I get a car? Good job. Go out with Adam. Get a tattoo. Eat bacon. Got questions? Don't be left in the dark. New glow in the dark Ouija. Will my parents ever let me stay out past ten? Come on. What do you want to know? Ah. Ed's uh, selling Ouija boards to kids disappeared from the airwaves uh, after the 90s. Was the, my parents always told me that was like the devil. I know, yeah. my parents would let me hear them. Yeah. 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 I've always thought the devil was in cahoots with Parker Brothers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Disney. <laughs> yep. So you're, you know, knowing how you are now, like skeptical yeah. of stuff, were you skeptical as a kid too? Did you play a Ouija board back then? I think somebody had one, like my yeah. grandmother had one or something. Yeah. It always just seemed, it always seemed like somebody else was moving it. Yeah. yeah. Like That's I a fun it's... activity with grandma. Let's play yeah. a little Ouija board. Yeah. <laughs> grandma. Put the smokes down. Let's well, play a little you're bit. You're so yeah. desperate for something to do over there. You, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. One, it's yeah. better yeah. than nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Let's count clothespins. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number six. Uh, speaking of, there might be some real science behind Ouija boards, Larry. Oh, for, uh, seriously? Larry, let them finish. All right, go ahead, finish, Larry. What you're saying, it has to do with the idiomotor effect. Uh, which happens when someone moves themselves or an object without being conscious of their actions. A study from 2012 looked at this by having subjects answer factual yes or no questions, both verbally and with the Ouija board. Uh, for questions they were unsure about, participants using the board answered correctly 65% of the time compared to just 50% 
when responding verbally. The study suggests people have a second intelligence buried in their subconscious mind that can only be assessed under the right conditions. Oh, brother. All right. Uh, Notice, we even, did we even say who did that study? I bet we did not. Maybe that was the uh, great scientific firm, Parker Brothers. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right, number five, the photographer wants to know if she was wrong for canceling on a bride the night before the wedding. Huh. The photographer says a woman got in touch uh, to cover her wedding ceremony and reception. They talked on the phone, and the bride-to-be even signed a contract, paid a deposit. However, she had not chosen the venue yet. A few weeks later, Shayla Harrington sent over the questionnaire to get more details in the timeline. But after text messages, phone calls, and emails over a couple of weeks, the bride still had not responded about that venue. The night before the wedding, Harrington still didn't have a response and didn't even know the time or location of the wedding. So yeah. she sent an email saying the contract was void and that she would not perform her services but would return the deposit. Yeah. The bride finally, bride finally responded the next day claiming it was unprofessional and left a bad review on Facebook. Mm. Huh. Uh, I don't know. I mean, he, she returned the deposit. Yeah, and you yeah, wouldn't yeah. respond. She didn't know where to go. Yeah, what is she I supposed to do? It's not the photographer's no, fault there. No, uh, yeah. Number four, scary movie time. But what if a classic horror flick was a rethought as a romantic comedy? Meet Jack Torrance. <laughs> I'm outlining a new writing project. He's a writer looking for inspiration. Lots of ideas. No good ones. Meet Danny. He's a kid looking for a dad. There's hardly anybody to play with around here. Nah. What's up, Doc? Jack just can't finish his book. I don't want to sound melodramatic, but there's no way to make it economically feasible. Here's to five miserable months. But now, oh, no. sometimes, what we need the most <laughs> oh. is just around the corner. <laughs> I'm your new foster father. I'd do anything. Climbing up on the south <laughs> I love it. I could see the city light. My heart going boom, boom, boom. Sun, he said, grab your things. I'm going to take you home. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the production house, PS260. Very funny. Brilliant. Uh, number three, here are five ways you're secretly annoying hosts at dinner parties. Uh, first, by showing up late. Check. Life happens, but you should do your best to show up as close as possible to the start time, especially if you're bringing something for the meal. Second, bringing something that requires work like flowers that need to be put in a vase or an appetizer that requires a bunch uh -huh. of pork and access to the oven. Yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, third, ruining their bathroom. <laughs> Jeez. If what you, you make a mess, yeah. you clean it up yourself or at least let the host know. <laughs> Whoa! You're backed up you in there. some cleaning materials. <laughs> Don't leave it for them to discover after oh, you leave. Oh, jeez. Uh, fourth, causing major spills that might ruin furniture or uh. carpet. And fifth, having too much fun, a.k.a. drinking too much and ending up dancing on top of tables. Huh. Mm. Mm. All right. Who's there? Uh, right. Number two, forget spending big bucks on art to just hang on your wall where no one sees it, a new trend is to wear it around your neck. Oh, yeah. Artist-made jewelry uh, tends to be colorful, large, and flamboyant. It's used to be an outlier at auction houses. It's uh, often just heading to museums. But now, people are buying it to wear and to show off their wealth and their fashion sense. So, I mean, you could wear that anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. Yep. Really functional. Mm -hmm. Look at those door Fancy. knobs or whatever those are. Earrings, I see. yeah, very nice. All right, number one. On Friday, we showed a video from 1964 of a great dancer named Bobby Bonas. You missed this, Larry. Uh -huh. uh, here's one more clip of him, along with the Chivalry Dancers on a syndicated oh, yeah. show from the mid-60s. It was kind of like American Bandstand. They're dancing to a taste of honey.
was in the original West Side Story, a mm. bunch of musicals, but. Ah, yeah. Nothing like a good dance medley. No, you talk about what's missing from TV these days. Yeah. yeah. They say he's this still alive. Really? He's a business now in Los Angeles trimming people's roses. What? Oh, that that's why I just it just came to me in my huh. brain. Someone just spoke from above and told huh. me that. That's not an easy uh, job trimming no. the roses. Yeah, no, it's satisfying. It. Well, yep. the knees give out at some point, I would think, you know. Yeah. yeah. Those stag leaps, you know, it's not easy after a while. It takes Ooh, its toll. Stag I mean, leap? What's a stag leap? Isn't is that, that kind of like Boom. where you, you, you do like Show one leg? Like, just making up things? <laughs> no, like it was like, here, a, I believe it, right it was a dance. Here comes, Wee! Like that, like you click a, one yep. leg up and one goes straight uh, out. I think yeah. it was a cheer jump. Here it comes jump. Wee! Boom! Wow. Good for him. She just thinks we're too dumb not to catch on that she's making stuff up. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a... <laughs> That's a leaper leap. That's a frog jump, is what that is. Wait, look at him just kind oh of going gosh, all over the place. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is a whole segment on TV. Look at this, a hoop de do. <laughs> just saying. Yes, just saying. Right. It's a nine and nine. Nine and nine.